Hi, I'm Denise Rosetto. I'm the Chief Creative Officer at BBDO Toronto. I'm here at the Clio's and I'm judging direct events and experiential. The most recent um, ad that I really loved is sort of a sentimental one for me. Um, it's the Sick Kids Undeniable ad. We undeniable. One, because it's strategically super smart, it was executed perfectly. When I first watched it, my heart actually stopped, which being in the business this long, I'm either old because it stopped or I, I was like, this is amazing. But what I really love about the ad is I saw the effect that it had in Toronto, in Canada. I feel like it did a bit of a PR job for me because people saw how effective creative is when it actually breaks through. And it broke through to everybody, like the ad community, regular people, the donations were enormous for a great cause. So to actually see it in effect was, it was amazing. The classic ad, I love so many, but it was the one that um, got me into the business. You let me play. You let me play sports. I will like myself more. I'll have more self-confidence. If you let me play sports. If you let me play. If you, if let, you let me, me play. I'll be 60% less likely to get breast cancer. I will so a Nike ad a long time ago um, where girls were talking about if they were allowed to play sports, um, the percentages of things that they would be able to overcome because of, of sport. I didn't play sports, so that wasn't the part that I loved. I hadn't seen an ad like that before where it was just so truthful and honest. I just found it so powerful. And I really loved that a brand was speaking about something so important. And I thought, ah, oh, you could do something really cool in this business. So there's been a million people that have inspired me, but I went back to the childhood one because I think the childhood one is the one that is the most influential. So it's definitely John Lennon. I think it's ironic because I did my speech in grade seven on John Lennon and uh, I got beat by Rosemary who did her speech on commercials. <laughs> so I was always a bit mad at commercials uh, when you're inspired by John Lennon. You don't want to be beat by commercials. The place that's probably the most special to me is Rome because um, when I first saw it I just thought the city looked like a museum, like people got to live in a museum. And uh, I got married there, and it was the first trip I brought my kids on. Does the Cleos ever go to Rome? We'll like stand at the Trevi Fountain and vote things in. This one, this question of what inspired me deeply drove me crazy, because everything inspires me right now. We were talking about podcasts, and if you watch Chef's Table or documentaries, the Defiant Ones. But I ended up picking something, which is just um, an author called her name's, it's an Italian name, so I hope they say it right, Elena, Elena Ferrante, who wrote four volumes of books about a friendship between two women in Naples. And when I read it, I just went, ah, oh, that's so good, so good. There's many challenges, to, opportunities, as people would say. I think it's what I said about Sick Kids, which is making people remember the importance of, and the power of creativity. So we have more information than ever. I think we should use that information to make ourselves more creative. And uh, it's just reminding people the power of what we can actually do and not get lost in, in a lot of distractions. So there's more information, there's more channels, there's more everything. But just going back to remembering people are people and you have to move them in some way regardless of the information you have.